Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and let's take a look at what Derrick Henry did versus the Dallas Cowboys. 25 carries, 151 yards, 6 yards per carry, and 2 touchdowns. Now, the Cowboys was one of the teams that he had interest in going to last year, and if I'm not mistaken, he lives in Dallas. I know he for sure trains in Dallas, so he had an added emphasis upon showing up you know, for this game. Now, at the beginning of the season, well, maybe after game one, Harbaugh said we didn't bring Derrick Henry here to give him 30 carries a game. We have 14 carries. Didn't do much of nothing. Next week, 18 carries. A little better. Got him up to 25 carries. 150 yards. Maybe you don't have to give him 30 carries, but you at least need to get in that mid-20 range for him to get going. The more carries he get, the more touches he get, the better he gets. So maybe not 30. But at least in the mid-20s because we need to get what we get out of them. And it showed up with to the tune of us rushing for over 250 plus yards. So stop acting like that, man. Stop playing these games in the media. Just coach football. Do what you say you're going to do. And put a winning product on the field. But let's get into what Derrick Henry did versus the Cowboys and how he just smashed them. He hoax smashed them. Uh, Sunday. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. Let's go. All right, it's first play. We got inside zone for 12. And it's simple stuff because we we don't have movers of people. We just need to be, we need to get hat on a hat. We need to get hat on a hat. And you'll see the blocking forward is simple. Michael, you know, runs himself out of the play. So, so Makari kind of takes him because he runs himself out of the play. And then Falele. He's going to start with the double team, and then he's going to work his way up to 13, which is good. Lindenbaum is going to take over 93 immediately. Voorhees and Ronnie's going to double 97 up to 6. And then uh, I think Mark's going to arc out here to, to uh, Diggs. And we're going to read 94. But we just got a, hat, a bunch of hat on the hat guys. We don't have movers of people. So, And I think the only guy that we got that could like move people is Voorhees, and he just not there yet. He, he ain't completely there yet. But look at it. Ronnie takes over 97. Leonard Baum gets 93. And we got a hat on the hat. That's what we are. We hat on the hat, guys. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. Now you allow Derrick Henry to be a back. You get, he gets to use his vision. He gets to use his speed. He gets to use his power to do what he do. Without people cutting at his legs and cutting at his feet as soon as he gets the ball. Now watch him, you know, manipulate this pop, this these creases and, and get going. Jump cut. Then because he's strong as a bull, you know, I know y'all seen him on the the uh, insurance commercials. You know, with with the motor and the living room he pulling and, and, and he lat pulling down the motor. He can fall forward for five or six yards with a defensive end on it and a, and a, and a safety. Now, on the second play, we didn't completely go away from the gap schemes, but I didn't see counter and power as much. We did run counter bash, but at the traditional counters that we've been running this year and have been getting stuffed in the background, we kind of got away from that because, again, we don't have people movers. We have hat on the hat guys, but we did have this pin and pull. So on this pin and pull, but what you should get, what you normally get, I'll show you what, we, what you normally get. And then I'll show you how the Ravens adjusted this. What you normally get is they're running pin and pull in this direction. So what you normally get is the guys are a gap down. So Ronnie's a gap down. You should block him down. Linda Blum, you should get that block. That's what you normally should get. And then you should get Puller Voorhees and you should get Puller Falele. That's what you should get. But we adjusted that because we know, we know Falele is not fleet of foot. So we did something different. You still got your down block by Ronnie. You got Voorhees pulling. You got Linda Bum is going to pull. Falele is going to try to cross the face of 93. He's going to try to hook him to keep him out of this gap. Which I think is smart because, again, not bashing Falele. This ain't that. This ain't that. He's just not 
as fleet of foot as Linderbaum, and Linderbaum's better in space than Father Lele. That's a fact. That's not a bash. That's not trying to, you know, get in on the Father Lele thing right now. I'm just speaking real football facts. Now, I will say this about Father Lele. He messes this up completely. He goes through this and straight whiffs on 93. But I do like the fact that he stays heady and keeps his head in the play. And later on in this play, he's just going to turn around and block 93 eventually. And his block of 93 basically splits the defense right up in this area. And there's going to be a gap that Derrick Henry runs through. So just pay attention to, to all of it when I, when I run it. All right, so that, that's your pullers. You see your down block by Ronnie. You see Voorhees pulling out of there. You see Lindebaum pulling out of there. You see Mark trying to get in on the down block. And so you see your pull, two pullers trying to get inside. Get outside, I'm sorry. Trying to get outside. So you're going to see Voorhees going to kick out the safety, which is number six. And Lindebaum is going to wrap right up in there. And you see Falele just completely whiff on 93. See right there? Falele completely whiffed on him. The kick out. The wrap by Linderbaum, the kick out by Voorhees, the wrap by Linderbaum. And right now, Falele hasn't touched the soul. But now, he realizes it and turns back on the same guy he just whipped on. There's the split in the defense. You see it? There's the split right there that I just mentioned. Now, Derrick Henry can do what he do. Now, Derrick Henry can do what he do. Stiff on. Little boy. And then fall forward. Now, Derek almost got Mike on this. If he just saw him just a hair earlier, he almost got Mike on that. That screenshot right there. Go ahead and snap your screenshot. He almost got Mike on that one. Almost. He just missed him. See that hand? Glanced off his face mask. He just missed him. Michael almost got sent to the shadow round with Kane. Even though I know Kane ain't a character no more. They replacing him. But he almost got sent to the shadow realm with Kane the, Kane the Conqueror. So this next one is duo. Running duo. And what I like about this is the way we put all of our guys on the offensive right, defensive left. To make it look like the strong side is over here. You got Likely, Ricard, Kolar. So to the defense, this is the strong side. So over here on this back side, you only got three Cowboys. Michael Parsons, Wilson. And whoever this zero is, or, uh, probably Mozzie Smith. So I like our numbers over here. We 3v3 on this. This would be considered the weak side. I like our numbers. Now what's going to happen is, we're going to, uh, Ronnie's going to block Michael. You'll get a double team with, with Linda Baum and Voorhees. And also, Filele is going to get in on this, double, on this triple team of this nose anyway. But what really helps us out is Wilson, for some reason, for some reason, I don't know why, it's going to haul butt in there. I guess because of the steps of him. Because Derrick Henry is going to take this, this hand off this way. And I guess Wilson is going to try to read that and get in on it. And Henry is going to bounce this thing all the way back on the other side to that gap. Wilson leaves. And this is a testament to Derrick Henry's vision. Wilson is going to cut that thing and try to cut off that A gap. Henry's going to see that, stick that foot in the ground, and bounce it right back to where Wilson left from. Then he's going to get a huge, huge gain out of it. There goes the, basically the triple team of the zero with, with Falele, Lindenbaum, and um, Voorhees. You see Ronnie got Michael in that solo block out there. Derrick Henry's coming downhill. Wilson, for whatever reason, took it. And Falele came off. Falele came off. I see I see you, 77. Came off and took care of six. Even though, you know, whoever show up, go get them. And now, because six abandoned that gap, look at the gap open. Look at the defense split. Look at the defense split. Derrick Henry sticking that foot in the ground. Already trying to get back over there to it. Now, another thing about duo. Look at Nelly coming in to block 28. When you run duo, this is the guy you want to leave unblocked. The cornerback. You don't want to block the cornerback because most of the time, the cornerbacks are the worst tacklers. Now, we know this is Diggs. Diggs is a ball hawk. He will tackle if you make him. But he don't want to tackle. He don't want to tackle. He will tackle if you make him. Let's see if he decides to tackle on this play. Nope. <laughs> Still for him. Shot around. 
Bye. Pie face. Smack in the face. Get out of here. Oops. Toasty. Like T.I. say, it's the king, man. 26-yard gain on duo. Or 29-yard gain on duo by Derrick Henry. All right. Next play. Inside zone lead. 26-yard touchdown. I say number 26, but it should say plus 26. Plus 26-yard touchdown. Now, what I will say this is, I've been clamoring and saying we're hat, hat on a hat, guys, you know, in the zone scheme that you don't have to have move guys. If you do have guys that can move people in the zone scheme, it makes that scheme much more better. And I will say, out of the three games I've watched, this is by far the best block I've seen Daniel Farlele commit all season. This is the best block I've seen him commit all season. And Derrick Henry's going to cut right off of it. So we really trying to get a hat on the hat. You got a double team by Farlele and Linderbaum. You got a solo block by, who is that, Voorhees, right? Solo block right there by Voorhees. You got this double team by these two guys. You got likely trying to influence block. And you got Ronnie really just working this gap. And whoever shows up, he's going to take him. Ronnie's kind of slow playing it. Got McCarty trying to get the second level. And you got Kolar's trying to take care of Michael on the backside. So really just trying to get a hat on the hat. So at this point, at this point, we're pretty much a hat on the hat. Hat, hat, two hats, hat. About to be a hat, hat, about to be a hat. Now, at this point, let's focus on the young man that we've all been bashing, myself included. And it's warranted. It's warranted bashing. It ain't like he ain't, he been doing this great job. But when when he do right, I'm going to give him his props. I'm going to give him his props. Linda Bond's about to come off and, and help on 50. This is what we've been needing out of the 6'8", 380-pound right guard. This is... The type of movement we've been needing for a long time. Let, let's 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 see. This is what we've been needing. This is what we've been asking for. Doing this on a regular will will, will keep us off your. You know what? That's how you move people. That's how you move people and get them out the club. And look who's cutting right off of that. Look who's cutting right off of that. Look look at the ball carrier cutting right off that huge block. Twenty two. So you do your job, we stay off your case. Miss tackle. I'm t get, getting Derrick Henry on the second level is totally different. If we can keep people from touching him in the backfield and getting him back here, no secondary wants to tackle this dude, I'm telling you. If we can keep him clean and, and get hat on the hat and even better move people like Farlele just did, nobody wants to tackle this dude. Nobody. Look, that, that wasn't no effort to tackle him. He just tried to knock the ball out. They weren't trying to get him on the ground. And did Diggs really want to get off this block? Let's see. Did, was Diggs really trying to get off this block of Nelly? No. No. If we can get him on the second level, they really don't want to tackle this dude. We just can't let allow penetration in the backfield. We just can't. And we'll end it with this one right here. But before we do that, if you have not hit that like button, please do so. Please do so. And if you subscribe, if you are not subscribed and you just hit lurking, hit that subscribe button because I know you're going to want to see all this goodness that I'm putting out the rest of this 2024 season. So go ahead and do that. But on to the last play. Duo, 411. Now, remember I talked about in duo, you want to make the cornerbacks tackle. Everybody's going to block down. We're going to leave. We're going to leave. This individual right here unblocked. We're going to leave him unblocked and see if he wants to tackle. See if he wants to tackle. So everybody else is going to pretty much kind of block down. You get him down, down, down. I hate that that's so big. Linda Baum, that double up to 18. Ronnie, then they just trying to sort this out. They're just trying to sort this out. All these guys trying to sort that out. And you're leaving Stephon Diggs, not Stephon Diggs, uh, Trayvon Diggs unblocked. 
unblocked. So that everybody had on a hat. All the purple jerseys are covering up the white jerseys with the exception of these. So now it's one. <laughs> it's one on one with the great one, like The Rock used to say. It's one on one with the great one. Trayvon Diggs, do you accept the challenge? Do you or don't you accept this challenge, Trayvon? He does not. Again, very little effort to tackle. Just hope and pray that Derrick Henry gets to this sideline without turning it upfield and challenging me. And that's what you do. If you can get hat on the hat and get Derrick Henry in the open field, whether it be to some linebackers, definitely up to the secondary guys, he's going to run rampant on people. But we just can't allow him to get tackled in the backfield, which is what was happening when we was running counter and power and stuff like that. We were allowing linebackers to shoot gaps and get penetration. But when you run zone stuff, you just get need a hat on the hat, guys. And if they move people like Falele did on that one play, it works even better. It works even better. But Derrick Henry found his groove versus the Dallas Cowboys to the tune of over 150 yards with 25 carries, six yards a pop, and two touchdowns. Hopefully, this is a precursor for what is to come for the rest of the season for Derrick Henry. Uh, just be more creative with what we do. Actually, you ain't got to be creative. Just got to execute. Just got to execute the stuff you got and add that with the passing game. Put the boot on that because you saw the boot in an earlier video. And we should be good. We should really be good with our offense going forward because we have the ultimate weapon to go with Derrick Henry. And that's Lamar. We just got to make sure they complement each other and do things that complement each other well. So this is Coach Evans with the second video of the week. I appreciate you all for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like the video. Subscribe if you have not. Hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos come out. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Remember the motto, FTMF. Film, then more film. We're diving right back into it. Peace.